Hello, and welcome back to my magic world of Zine. Alright, so I opened two of the chests and got some obsidian items. Um, but they weren't that good. The only thing I used is the obsidian flail. I gave it to Bones, which was like just a bit better, like by half a point of damage. Better than the mace that he had before. And uh, I had to spend a lot of money for uh, repairing all the items that they broke when opening the boxes. So it wasn't very good. <laughs> However, for opening the last chest and not dying, I actually need to get this hit, bo hit point bonus. And, um,. That's why I put down Eloy's beacon right there. I'll have to re-put it somewhere decent, but yeah, I didn't want to go all the way back. Alright, that's the place. Now let's check if I can do this by just casting Day of Protection. Probably not, but hey, let's just check. Yeah, as I thought, not really. Some survived, some didn't. So, instead, let's... Go here. And drink from the fountain. Then, recast both Day of Protection and Day of Sorcery. So we have pretty much 300 points of protection, as well as several thousand hit points. So that should protect us a bit more than it did before. Also, Chekhov does have the Blazing Charm equipped, okay. Okay, that's not really good enough. I need to get nobody killed. That's not nobody killed, that's one person killed. Ah. Uh. It will happen sometime. Not this time, though. <sighs> Even at this point in the game. Ah, there we go, finally. Well, let's see what we got. Obsidian ring mail, obsidian splint mail. Obsidian Helm Dino Boots, Obsidian Plate Mail, Obsidian Chain Mail, Obsidian Ring Mail. That's a lot of armor. Uh, obsidian Bardiche. Yeah, I don't need that. I have a Bardiche Dragon Slayer. Oh, yeah, and I also switched to a Longsword plus Shield. Because uh, we don't really have any dragons to slay anymore, except for the Mega Dragon. Okay, well, these are some nice things, but I think I'll keep them on hand for now and not do anything, and I'll just sort them out later. Alright, so now what I want to do is to cast Town Portal. And go... Hmm. Yeah, let's go to where to go. Inward to go, I can go and drink from this fountain. Well, well. <laughs> Which brings our hit points all the way back to 4,000. Which is with the added 50 level bonus, so that's pretty cool. have my amulet. 
be gone. I don't. Oh. Right. Uh. <laughs> we got the silver key card, but that's not the amulet to the southern sphinx. The skull sees your silver ID card and says, Access granted. Why, thank you. The skull says, Access denied, you do not have the proper ID. But, there's a box. Key to Dark Stone Tower. Right, so how do you get into this Southern Sphinx? Uh, wait a minute. I guess that just means that I absolutely need to go to Darkstone Tower first. Well, that's fine. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Um, first off, to get there, I need to get back to the... light side, actually. And the quickest way there is back through here. What does this do? Nothing in particular. Uh, there was a place I could use to teleport to other places, right? Right. Right. Come on now. Wasn't there? That probably wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't. <sighs> Down portal. I actually just want to go to the winter kill. Darkstone Tower is, in fact, over here. In fact, it is this thing. But before we go there, let's save. I see you have the key to this tower. You may pass, mortals. Okay, it's on the dark side. Darkstone Tower. Hmm, maybe I should actually revitalize people. But so far, so good. Uh, okay, now there are enemies somewhere. 
Oh boy, these guys. They don't actually shoot things. Onyx Golem. Okay, let's see what they're about. Onyx Golem. One million experience. Ten thousand hit points. Fifty AC. One hundred speed. One attack for two to five hundred points of magic damage. No ranged attack. Onyx Golems were created to guard Darkstone Tower. The Golems are totally immune to everything but physical damage, and their magical attack drains the spell points of their victims. Try to avoid creating more of these things than you must on your way to the top of the tower. Well, they go down just the same due to our power, and they don't have a range attack. So that's awesome. I don't think they will be any problem whatsoever to us. Play creates. Nuda Inuna. Okay. That does not make much sense. That. Play creates. Eonifmitg. That's a gong. That's another gong. I wonder if this is what creates more onyx gongs. Like reads, Wurt cool ni e. Cool. This reads Luxura Gaimk. Did this go into our auto notes? Yes. New World. New World. Thanks. For playing Might and Magic. Why, thank you! So that's a message from New World Computing. How nice of them. So, yes, essentially, this is pretty much the end of the game itself. Um. Okay, well, let's go up. A voice booms. No sound, no ground. Okay, so it looks like I actually have to ring the gongs. And, yep, as I thought, on these gongs up here. Not that, that's too bad. Thinking that I should probably equip my anti magic gear. Uh, accessories. Yeah, I like that. This is metal. Holy belt. Holy belt! <laughs> Crying scarab. Ring. Okay. Now I should be able to go up. Also, this clearly spells three. And this clearly spells four.
Blake reads, Segfrest. Blake reads, E A on. No sound, no ground again. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the intercept is better, but I don't see anything. Sntskdem. Oh, hi there. Blake reads. Odo! Ooh! Okay. Now. I actually heard of this. Oh, nice job. Okay, so what did that message say? Blake, level two. So ends the saga of Korak and Sheltam. Yes, that is absolutely correct. We will not really hear much about those people more in the series beyond this. Which is a bit sad. And I really wish that Sheltam would have returned. I mean, his number is nine, so I would have imagined that there are eight more Sheltams in the world. But uh, we just never got to hear about them again. And in fact, we didn't get to hear much about the Ancients more than we know now, either. 4G Tgamsk. Yeah. There will be some more info in later games, but uh, it's not quite as nice as in these first games, where you would get more information on the ancient background in every game. Anyway, this reads 9... SXE... IA. Okay. So this is a 2. Like reads nine bunhemtdgs. Like reads one itten kna. Right. Oh dear. Okay. These guys are not messing around anymore. Okay, well, they didn't drain our spell points, but wow, our hit points are low. Huh. Actually, do I even need to do this? Yes, I do. So, G. That clue book says to try not to create too many Onyx Golems, and then there's actually no way to progress unless you do that, so it's like, what? <laughs> Anyway, what's the last message here? 1994 Begins... Begins the next... Next... Might... And... This is really difficult to read when it's not uh, mono with font. Might and... Alright, well, um, hmm. I'm back and... What this reads is actually this. In a much more readable format. 1994 begins the next 
Might and Magic Saga. Exclamation point. Space, space. <laughs> and this is not correct. Uh, Might and Magic 6 was released in 1998. It's titled Mandate of Heaven. And... Uh, it's kind of strange because wasn't it 1995 that World of Zine itself was released? So I don't really get this, but whatever. Um, anyway, it's a pretty interesting touch to have like a meta thing here in the very last dungeon that is required for you to go through in order to beat the game. Okay, and I really, really need to heal everyone. Um, mostly these three. So, power cure. Okay, that's fine, but I probably can... Yeah, I can spare some for the others as well. Yeah, like that. Let's try that again. How about another power cure? Okay, that's much better. Kind of. I still need to power cure. Everyone else should be fine. This, you attack that one. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. I don't know why the flail does that wood sound. Hmm. Kind of strange, but okay. Right, so this is level 3. I don't think I have enough spell points to actually power cure everyone. Mm, well, I don't think so, but I can check. Well, it's not too bad. As long as I don't have to bang on any more gongs, I should be fine. What? Wait, did I... Did I actually bang the same gong twice? Because if so, that's stupid. <laughs> oh. Well, I can actually find out if that's the case by just going here. Yes, I did. Wow, that was stupid. <sighs> so I guess that's what the clue book meant by not creating any more than I should. Okay. Sorcery. Data of production. And let's press that.
Okay, I need to power cure him. That's right. And Serac lost all his spell points. Just great. Well, at least this is fairly fine. And I will be able to get out of here. Level 4. Oh. Look at that. That's one graphic I haven't seen for a while. Head 15 speaks. Pkue Tdeoes. Um, I don't know how it manages to speak a, uh, the quote marks. But hey, Head 16 speaks. Eot lo huo fasio. Oh, hi there. Head thirteen speaks. Tmeoe fen teo. Head fourteen speaks. Yipurnuf. For g den Okay, there are two skulls here and this thing. Force repels you. Hmm. Okay, let's see. That. What one else? What do they say? What? What? How did that bug out? Okay, fine. I'll read them manually and write them down once again into the same text box. Fifteen. Thirteen is T dash meow dash fen dash tau. Yeah. Soon. Dash. Dive computer on level 4 of the Dungeon of Death. See you soon. Okay. Um, that's actually going to be very useful because, yes, that is one of the things that you need to enter here. Now, what's about those things? And can I go up here? Special seal prevents passage. Is this the same thing as before? Will I just die if I do this? The skull speaks. Level 1 plus level 2 plus level 3 equals 9. And E equals number of gongs. Okay. E is the number of gongs. We did have numbers in the levels, and this is E. Level 1 was 3, level 2 was 4, level 3 was 2. So, 
Is that nine? Yes, that is nine. E equals the number of gongs, okay. And the number of gongs was... Total was one, two, three, four, five. According to the prongs on the letters. The skull speaks. To get your prize, answer my riddle. Look at the center of each level and solve the following. Level 1, X level 2, X level 3, X level 4 equals... Okay, so it's just all of them multiplied. Okay, let's uh, call down the very useful um, box there. Uh, K-Runner, it's called. So level 1 is 3 times 2 times 4 times 5, 120. Okay, I think that is the answer. Correct! Alright. Gold ID card. And I guess that now we can go here. No. Okay. Well, I guess that means I need to go back to the uh, Castle Alamar. Actually, let's do that real quick. Um, cast Lloyd's Beacon. Return. Go to... Lalamar. Still going to be a bit faster than uh, going through the uh, through Shangri-La, I think. So I can just rush through the whole place. Skull sees your gold ID card and says, Access granted. Coffin. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Roland, brother to King Burlar, ruler of Zeen. I must thank you for freeing me from that stasis chamber Alamar put me in. Your arrival here means that you have done much to put things right in the world. And for that, I and the royalty of Zine are grateful. Though you have worked toward the goal of securing Zine's future more than anyone else, there is still work to be done. Queen Kalindra and I are destined to marry on the cloud world above Darkstone Tower. You hold the key to the tower, but you will also need a key to open the way to the cloud world above the tower. That key can be found in the Southern Sphinx on the other side of the world. I have here the amulet of the Southern Sphinx. Take it, it's yours. I must return to my brother and prepare for the wedding. Once again, thank you and good luck. Well, that was very to the point. Like, hey, I've been in jail here for, like, years. And, uh, uh there's a prophecy I'm going to go marry. So, see you. <laughs> That's pretty Silly. But yes, that's how you get to the Southern Sphinx. Oh, more Zine Power Juice. Well, gee. I. Uh, yeah. I need to look at who needs it first. Levels. Lowest level is for bones. Okay. Five levels per minute. And 18. 17. Okay, so Spock gets the next one. Oh, I get more than two uses now. 122. Then 118 for Kirk. No, I guess this is for the entire party then. Then 18. Sarek. 
then 19 for Chekhov and Scotty. Okay, so everyone is now at least level 120. So yeah, that's all, and next time we'll be getting to the Southern Sphinx. See y'all then. Later.